Hey guys, Shifty here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Renegade Platinum Hardcore Nuzlocke. And this is the finale. Either way, win or lose, this is it. This is the ending. And here we are with the team. This is uh, just about the team, honestly. Uh, except for Aerodactyl, who was just here for this berry fight. Uh, this is it. This is the team. Rotom, Umbreon, Hippo, Weavile, who is a new addition, and Gyarados. But yeah, this is it. This is the team. And they're all level 74, because I realized that the level gap between Aaron's weakest Pokemon and Cynthia's strongest is 7 levels. And if I started at like 72, which is uh, Aaron's ace, I just I would not be able to make up the level difference between Cynthia and my Pokemon. So I figured 74 was a bit more reasonable. I mean, we're still going to be under-leveled for Cynthia, and we'll be over-leveled for like the first two... I think the first two Elite Four trainers, so... Uh, it is what it is. This is what I figured would be best for not just my chances of winning, which I do want, but I also figured it was the best uh, for, like, content, because, like, you don't want to see me go in against Cynthia with, like, level 73s at best, I think, so... So, yeah, this is it. This is... This is the team. And as promised, there's a berry fight, so it's... It's going to be an episode consisting of six fights. Alright, you're going to get stone-edged, because fuck you. Beautiful. Beautiful start. Azu, please crit the stone-edge. Oh, no, we missed the stone-edge, which is actually so much worse. Um, this should go for Aqua Jet into Rotom, which is, which is A-OK -okay with me. And then two Thunderbolts should be enough. Oh, actually one. Let's fucking go. Okay, we're kind of cooking. Torterra. Call me crazy? I'm gonna Will-O-Wisp. And we hit. Let's go. Woodhammer? Nothing. Doesn't even do enough. Now, who wants to switch in on this? Oh, yeah. Eat that. And then... Just Ice Fang. Okay, this is looking good so far. But there is one Pokemon on a scene that I'm scared to shit of. Um, this is getting walled to shit by Hippo, unfortunately. You're getting earthquake like a billion times. That's about it. And let me do a little bit of protecting. And then a little bit of slacking off. Oh, we full restores here. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I think all, or not all, but I think most of, I think the rival fights, the rival fight AIs have, I think, two full restores, if I remember correctly. And we do a bit of slacking off here. Gotta keep that HP up. And then, finish off with a little bit of protect. Beautiful, okay, Heracross goes down easy. Arcanine. Arcanine should be, like, an earthquake away from death. Okay, Blitz does a bit of damage. And it's dead. Okay, we're looking good, we're looking good, but... I think, yeah, his last Pokemon is... The most annoying of the bunch. Now, I know he has... I know for a fact he has another 4 store in the back. And if I Toxic and don't get it, like, exactly right... Uh, it'll 4 restore and get out of it. But if I burn it and ship it down that way, I sh might have a chance. Oh, uh, well. No, I'm, I'm going to stick with the toxic plan. And just see if we can get the, uh, the turns right, because uh, it's just going to keep cursing. And then it's it could get full restored. There's a chance you get, like, the right, uh, like, toxic damage. At a certain point. But I don't know exactly how to do that. I just know it is possible. Okay, he goes for slack off. That's good. Fuck with that. And then the, it takes the chip damage. And I think it should slack off again. And I will as well. Okay, yeah. Okay, this is looking good. This is looking good. 
I'm liking how this is going. I always have to keep this thing low. And I gotta try to make sure that it stays low enough that uh, the toxic damage will kill it after, uh, like the at the end of the turn. Because that toxic is just getting worse and worse. Slowly but surely. I think I just have to keep Earthquaking and pray. Slack off. I think it'll be dead or close to dead. No, it's full restore range. Fuck. Um, then I have to go PvP here. It's full restored. And now I have to pray. I have to pray that uh, it doesn't decide to kill me. Okay, thank god I went for a curse. Okay. Um, I can protect once. Just for funsies. And now... Now this is where shit gets interesting. I think... I think I sack Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl I was not planning on bringing to the Elite Four, so... Goodbye, soldier. Truly appreciate it. Oh man, this fucking Snorlax. I hate the Snorlax with a fucking passion. Um, I think I can go Gyarados for one, drop its attack, then pivot hip out on. We get slammed for just about half, actually over half. And then we protect once, get a little bit more HP back. And then we, as long as we don't get crit here, I think we're okay. Because we do outspeed because it's been setting up curses. I just have to live a body slam. Thank god. And that's it. Okay, we made it out alive. It got, it got interesting there for a second, I can't lie. It got interesting. Uh, thank you, Aerodactyl, for everything you've done. Uh, it, will not, it will not go unappreciated. Okay. Alright. Um, I need Ninetales on the team. Ninetales is going to be part of the plan. Aerodactyl, thank you so much for everything you've done. Damn, look at this fucking box. Wooper, Marstomp, Quilava, Metatite, Luxio, Ivysaur, Gabite, Pachirisu, Vigoroth, Snover, Poliwhirl, Zatu, the Barrel, Dragonair, Crobat, Lantern, Kingler, Empoleon, Aerodactyl, Machamp, Shiftry, Gengar, Spiritu. Man, I'm also a lot of good Pokemon in here. But here we are. These are these are some of the guys that got us here. Specifically, like these three plus Infernape and Swellow. I don't think many of these other guys did much, but I appreciate them nonetheless. All right, so I need to make sure my items are right. I need to give you. Where are they at? Where's the choice specs at? And I think that's about it. I also would like to give the Muscle Band to Weavile. Also, I should probably go over like the moves and shit. Um, we got Nine Tails here, Flamethrower, Nasty Plot, Energy Ball, Mood Blast. Easy peasy team. Uh, or move set rather. Uh, Thunderbolt, Substitute, Willow Wisp, uh, Hydro Pump, Rotom. Also, Rotom is. Where's the fucking stats at? It's Fizz Dev. So I have two physically defensive Pokemon, two specially defensive Pokemon. This is one of them, obviously. One, or 280 Spin F and nearly 280 HP. Uh, you know what PvP does. And also, you know what Hip Out On does. And then Weavile is here because it's fast and it's strong, and I didn't EV train this thing. Alright, I will be back in a second because I, I forgot to EV train this thing. It should not have 202 attack. And then lastly is Gyarados. It's uh, Spadef as well. Earthquake, Aqua Tail, Ice Fang, Dragon Dance. Um, yeah, I'll be back in a second once I EV train Weavile. I totally forgot to do that. I There was so much prep I had to do for this, but yeah, I will see you guys in a second. And I'm back. I have EV trained Weavile. It's max attack and max speed, who could have guessed? And I think there's one, uh, there's one HP. There's four HP EVs, which I think amounts to one. 
I'm not exactly sure. I know it amounts to one at uh, level 100, but yeah, this is it. This is the team. Uh, he's got Crunch, Icicle, Crash, Knockoff, and Low Kick. Uh, these moves will be... Uh, you will see why these moves are important. Actually, I don't have to do this now, but I'd rather do it now. Where's the team for Sword Stance? I can't believe there's so much I just forgot to fucking do before I hit the record button. Very unprofessional of me. SD. I do want a little bit of SD. And we do not need Crunch at the moment. Alright. And here we are. This is it. I already have my healing items. I already have everything in order. Oh, there's one more thing I meant to mention uh, before we go any further. I gave myself uh, 30 left berries, I think. The EV replenishing berry. Should be down here at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, this is because you can farm berries in this game, and I did find uh, a Lepa Berry tree, and I wanted to uh, just farm it and get some back because I didn't want to like go and find all the elixirs or ethers or whatever. But I realized that I couldn't just change the date on my computer, the date and time on my computer, to make the berries grow faster, so it is what it is. But here we are. Here we are. And... Uh, if you did not know, the Elite Four for Renegade Platinum, each trainer has four different possible teams they can bring, including the champion. So this is truly, uh, it's in fate's hands as to what team we get. Uh, the, Naruto lead, leads pretty well into all of them, but, you know, just in case. Just in case. Um, yeah, this is it. Alright, here we are. AA Ron, let's get it on. Alright, let's see, what does he lead with? It's the Mask or Rain. Is this the bad one? Okay, it is not. Okay, so... I'm gonna try to break this down. Uh, so there's four teams. And one of them... Aaron has... Or Aaron has Flygon, who is now a Bug and Dragon type. And that's the one where... It was just a bit more difficult to... Like, get through. But... I think all the other ones are... I don't think I was gonna lose to any of them, but... Um, that one in particular was a bit more nasty. Uh, this gets melted. Yeah, Specs, Naruto in the sun, simply has no counters. Um, this is... Oh, if it's Masquerade Rain lead, hold on. Let me find this team. Masquerade Rain lead, this is... Toxic Orb Heracross, okay. Because I know there's one variant of this team where he has a Scarf Heracross. And that definitely outsped me. Scizor... Scizor is Life Orb, Adamant, Technician, Bullet Punch. We shouldn't die from this. I am going to Calc. I don't think we die from this. I think there's no shot we die from this, realistically. 74. I don't know my stats. That's moves. 202 HP is ass, it looks like. It's okay. It's decent. And then 119. 119 defense. That's actually ass. You're just about as low as you can get. I really should have, uh, I don't know if you guys wanted to see the calculator on, uh, the other side of the screen. Like, if you wanted to see a calculator at all, like the calculus I'm doing, but I promise you it's not that interesting. Uh, this is level 71 Scizor with a technician boost and a life orb and the move bullet punch. It is doing not enough, I can tell you that damn much. It's doing like a quarter at most, and I don't even think it should go for it. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure, though. Beautifly is getting cooked. And this is why I brought Naruto. This is actually, this is half of the reason why I brought Naruto. It actually did a lot of damage, I can't lie. Uh, Forest Store, does not matter. Um, It's also to stop Bertha from having sand for the entire fight. Because that's fucked. Also, I don't know about this Dust Ox. I just wanna just wanna confirm. Just wanna confirm with you here. Flamethrower in the sun, and I'm spexed up. It's a super kill. It's a super duper kill. Okay, we're good. Alright, and that was called clicking flamethrower like seven times. Alright, now... 
now it's time for... Actually, we'd like a little Lepaberry action. And then we do a bit of healing. I don't need to waste my four stores yet. I have Hyper Potions. Now it is time for Weavile to take the take the center stage. I was going to use Mamoswine for this, but I realized that Weavile is just better Mamoswine. It has more attack, it's faster, and with a Muscle Band, uh, this thing goes crazy. And I just have to make sure that uh, it does not die, which you know, might be uh, easier said than done. So for Bertha, she leads. Uh, there's two possible leads, Hippowdon and Tyranitar. Either way, these should get fucked up by Weavile. Also, I'm going to I'm going to save, and not because, uh, not for like any particular reason, but if I lose, I want to see if I could have made it through. Like, if there was a realm of possibility where I made it through. Alright, so it's a Hippowdon lead, which is interesting. I prefer Tyranitar lead, but it is what it is. Now, this could go for Earthquake. And I don't think it does too much. Actually, I should probably pull up the Weavile Calx against this team. So we are a Weavile at level 74 with decent HP. I think this is... That's much less than that, is it? Okay, it's not bare minimum. Sorry, I'm just talking myself while I'm trying to figure out the fucking Calx. Okay, there we go. And we have insane attack. 249. And our defenses are ass. Because of course. So Weavile, what did you expect? And then we also have horrible special defense, because what did you expect? We're a Weavile. And we have a naive nature that I do remember. And max EVs in here, and then bring it down because we don't have good IVs. Okay. And we have Icicle Crash. I'm so sorry this is taking so long. I should have... Uh, there's a lot of things I should have done. I should have prepared this. Uh, I have Low Kick, and then Swords Dance. So, Hippowdon at level 72 with Earthquake... And crunch, and it's, there's a chance it doesn't even go for either move because it has uh, stealth rocks. Yeah, okay. So Isle Crash won't uh, KO. It's a clean two hit. And I'm either trading like over half of my HP if I don't get the flinch, and if I do get the flinch, then it's uh, really cool. Well,. And what does she go after this? I actually don't I don't know which team it is at this point because both Hippowdons are the same. It's the same Hippowdon, the same level, and you can only tell because of the item or uh yeah, only because of the item. Other than that, it's exactly the same. Um I think I just ice will crash here. So if I SD, then I'm just well no fuck it, I'm gonna SD on the uh, stealth rocks, watch this. I'm better. I'm better. We take a slight bit chip. Slight bit chip. And then we're plus two. And I will crash super duper KOs. Actually, can I not risk this thing uh, missing? Um, no, I cannot. Okay, thank God we don't miss. He don't miss. Alright, what's up next? It is Pseudo Wudo. Okay, Pseudo Wudo. Okay, so it's this team. Pasho Berry, Relaxed, Rockhead, Rock Smash, Wood Hammer, Sucker Punch, Hammer Arm. Alright, against a Pseudo Wudo. That is not a spell Pseudo Wudo. At 72. This thing should get. Actually survives everything? What the fuck? This is insane. Uh, does its nature change anything? Hell no, it actually makes it worse. Um, yeah, no, this thing is. Uh, this thing's not dying to an Isle Crush, okay. Uh, this should be Head Smash, if I had to guess. Or Hammer Arm. Either way... I think we go Hippo. Yeah, it goes Hammer Arm. Fine by me. 
and do a bit of protecting. I don't know what the Pasho Berry does. I think it's a Water Berry, but I could be making that shit up. Okay. As long as it wasn't the Ground Berry, it was good. Okay. Torterra comes out. This is, I'm assuming, also Wood Hammer? Yes. Um, it is Leftovers. Okay. If we go... Okay. Okay, let me think about this. Um, Gyarados is probably the right answer. It's almost assuredly the right answer. Ah, well. Alright, let's bring back up the Nine Tails count. Let's bring back up the Nine Tails. Level 74. Because it de it's definitely dying to a sun boosted uh, flamethrower. But I just want to know if I live one. 119, which is not very good. And. 202. Against Adamant Torterra. Woodhammer. Alright, Adamant Woodhammer is doing under half. So I'm calling it a safe switch. Did I forget about Stealth Rocks? Yes, I did. And this is getting super killed. Okay, now what does this bring out, is the real question. Now, hypothetically, if I were a gambling man, I have 193 special attack. 193 is not anything to scoff at. But I am fighting a... Rhyperior. Which is strong. It's level 73. And Rhyperior has solid rock. That's the item I need. And if I go for a little energy ball while I am choice specs to up, I am guaranteed to KO if I'm doing my math right, which I should be. Rhyperior, level 73, has the solid rock ability. And I am a Nine Tails with 193 special attack with the Choice Specs item. I have Energy Ball. Yeah, this should be a super kill. Oh, oh, thank God. I thought it was going to uh, make me fuck that up. Okay, thank God. I forgot I was Specs. I knew I was Specs, but I forgot I used the kill. Oh my God, my life flashed before my eyes. Oh my God. Um, so this is going to be going for... Uh, Stone Edge. And it's Choice Bandit, so... We're good to just switch. Oh my god, I saw my life flash before my eyes. Yeah, so I can just do this for, uh... A couple turns. Unfortunately, I think I've just about squandered my opportunity for Sun. Because I... I think... I can switch in one more time... Into the Stealth Rocks, but... I would also have to get a clean switch, which I don't think I'll be getting anytime soon. And I don't think I need Nine Tails anymore, but I would still like to have it. Also, I'm going to protect. Oh, Forest Ore? Fuck you. I mean, I, it's better she use it on this useless ass Pokemon than, uh, than anything good on her team. Give me a little, one more slack off. And then one more for the road, fuck it. And what will be out next? Gliscor. Gliscor is fine. This thing should get folded pretty easily, because it only has Earthquake, Exorcist, Protect, and Roost. Which Gyarados is fine with. And we have Ice Fang. Yeah, that's doing nothing. And Ice Fang is doing everything. Um, what does she have left? Uh, she has one more Pokemon after this. Oh, it's Camerupt. Okay. Um, Focus Sash, Quiet, Solid Rock, Camerupt. Does have Explosion, which could be a problem. 
Um. Hmm. Yeah, that explosion is not looking too awesome, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. But I think... Shit, I actually don't have a solid answer for this thing. Um. Okay. Hypothetically, if I needed to throw someone away, who would be the best bet? I would like to keep Gyarados for Flint. I need Weavile for Lucian. Um, Rotom... I honestly... I brought Rotom, but he doesn't really have like a defined purpose. PvP I obviously want to keep. Um, Naruto... Might be okay to sack. If need to. If need be. Um... I'm going to go into Rotom and simply pray. If we eat the yawn, which is unfortunate, however, we can just pray Hydro hits, it hits, it'll take it to its sash, yawn fails, and then we are put to sleep. Four store. Oh, that's actually huge. As long as it doesn't explode anytime soon. Okay, it misses the overheat. Please just wake up, Rotom. Wake up and hit the Hydro Pump. Overheat, that's fine. We eat that. Okay, eat is uh, relatively. And then we hit the pump. Okay, no sacks yet. No sacks yet. Oh, man. That one got a little stressful. That one got a teensy bit stressful. Okay. Okay. Now it's time for Lucian. Lucian is easy. Lucian is a piece of cake pie walk. Cake walk. Uh, also leading Weavile, but this time I am switching up the moveset. Where is Thief at? I don't know the fucking number. Okay, Thief. There it is. And why I will be having Thief is... I mean, maybe it'll be apparent. Uh, I'll explain it in a second, though. Oh man, fucking, fucking camera up is scary as shit. That fucking explosion was worrying. Um, we don't need any any Lepavari uses at the moment, right? Uh, Hydro Pump could use it. Earthquake. Okay, yeah, I think I think there will be a little a little bit of use. Oh man, I'm I am very nervous. If you couldn't tell, I am very very nervous because I want to win. Because uh, I don't remember you guys might not have been there because uh, I'm not sure how many new people and new subscribers are uh, watching the series. But I started this with the intent on winning, and then also turning all of it into one video, like how I beat a hardcore Nuzlocke of Pokemon Renegade Platinum. And I still want to do that, so I want to win. Although it would be really funny to uh, make like a 45, maybe an hour long video of me playing this game and then it just be me losing at the end. It would be kind of funny. Okay, Flint. Oh, it's Flint next. I'm fucking stupid as bricks. Um, okay, I forgot. Lucian's not next. It's Flint. <laughs> I'm actually very stupid. Um, Flint. Flint leads Ninetales, Rapidash... Nine Tails or Torkoal. And that means it's Hippo time. I totally forgot Flint was next. Flint literally most forgettable elite four member ever? Question mark. Alright. Ooh, Torkoal lead is the one I did not want to see. Cause it's the only one that underspeeds my hippo, which means its weather gets to stay up. Uh, and it also has Solar Beam, which it should be going for. That or Stealth Rocks. Um, actually, you know what? Let me let me do a bit of calking. Let me do a bit of calking. Uh, we are not OU Spadef. We are Hippo. Alright, we're OU Fizdef. We are level 74 against a Torkoal at level 73. 
Earthquake will be a two shot, and Solar Beam uh, is doing nothing. Okay, we're good. Goes for Solar Beam. Okay, that does a lot fucking more. Hold on. Why did that do? Oh, it's because, yeah, uh, uh, Calm Nature, Torkoal, which I think. Okay, it actually doesn't do anything. But this is gentle. Yeah, apparently we just don't have good uh, special defense. Uh, but we can just Earthquake again and call that a day. Now who's coming in? Houndoom is coming in. Houndoom also has Solar Beam. And if I were him, I would be going for it. I want to protect once. And then I'm going to switch to PvP. Oh, it actually goes for Blast. Holy shit. That does some fucking damage, man. Okay, alright. Um, luckily we have Spadef Gyarados. I think. I think that's the... I think that's maybe the right play. Okay, he misses it. That's huge. Big. Um, Fire Blast, Dark Pulse, Solar Beam, Sludge Bomb. Okay, it's Specs. It's Specs into uh, Fire Blast. I think that was its last one. Call me crazy. It was its last one. Oh, this is... Okay, GG. GG. I am setting up till the fucking cows come home. Fuck you. No, no, no. You're not getting out of this one. Yeah, you just keep on struggling, man. I'm gonna get to plus five, and then... Oh, actually, gonna, I'm actually gonna get the full plus six. That's awesome. Wow, he just he gave me the free plus six. All right, this is why we have Gyarados. This is why Gyarados is the goat. All right, that's six, and now we just quake a billion times. All right, that was easy as shit. Oh my god, AI's bad. Uh, Arcanine. I was gonna say, are we getting outsped here? We're not. We we are. We have a billion speed and a billion attack. Magmortar. Um, yeah, I'm looking at the right team. Uh, Scarf Typhlosion. Might outspeed? No, there's no shot, right? Surely not. I'm still going to calc it, though, just in case. Just in case. So we are Gyarados. Level 74. I'm just giving myself the worst fucking stats possible. Oh yeah, no, we have we have nearly 500 speed. All right, Typhlosion at level 73 with a Tibbin Nature, which boosts its speed, and a Choice Scarf. If I could fucking type in Choice Scarf, is hitting not even 300. Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. No problems here. And then Drift Limb. Oh, it's immune to Earthquake. I have Ice Fang. Okay, that was easy. Honestly, it's sad to say, but Flint was like the least planned for uh, Elite Four member too. I literally, I didn't really have a plan besides uh, getting Sand up and then going from there. But okay, that was easy. And it only took me... Uh, too many turns to fucking realize that it was going for Fire Blast and not Solar Beam. I'm gonna need some Leper Berries on, on Gidos, though. Get those Earthquakes back. Get those D-Dances back, and I think... I also need them for Earthquake, I think. Do a quick PP check. Uh-huh. Looking good, looking good. Okay, yeah. We're good. And now we lead... Weavile. Okay, and this is why... You'll maybe see why I have Thief. Thief is really only necessary for... Actually, no, I actually fucked it up. I actually fucked it up. Uh, please don't have... Okay, it's not the lead. 
Uh, okay, we have Isle. At level 74 against a level 75 Mr. Mime. I did not realize this bitch was level 50, or 75 rather. But I don't think it matters. Item is whatever the hell. And I'm going for a knockoff of the highest of damages. Once again, gotta check my fucking stats because I'm stupid. So I'm going for knockoff, and I have a muscle band. Yeah, they should always die. Wait, hold on, hold on. Naive nature, which boosts speed, which. And lower special defense, okay. Yeah, we're good. This always kills. I actually lied. I actually super fucking lied. Why'd I lie? What did I do that for? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is that... Why did that... Why was that not true? I have 249 attack. Went for knockoff. It has an item. I think it's specifically uh, light clay. And I'm, I'm desperately trying to find why the fuck that didn't kill. I know it's Psychic and Fairy, because psych or Fairy types in this game. Naive Nature, it has Filter. I have the ability set to Filter. This should always kill. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? Alright, well, it's some, something, something somewhere is fucked up. Yeah, I'm holding the Muscle Band. Alright, I genuinely don't know why this didn't kill. Hang on, let me let me do a bit of research mid episode because this should have apparently this should have always killed. Um Okay, so filter doesn't come into play here, I guess. Because fairies should resist it. I, I have no idea why. Alright, well, I'm just going to chuck that one up to, uh, to something somewhere being wrong. I don't know why. But luckily, Weavile wasn't super needed anywhere else. I don't think so. Oh, wait. Wait, 75? Wait, why is Lucian's lead 75? Wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me the fucking document's fucked. No, Lucian's leads are supposed to be 74. Oh, this is so fucked. There's something very sinister going on here. Espeon. Okay, so it is this team, but the levels are fucked for whatever reason, that's awesome. Uh, Espeon, um, Espeon, yeah, of course it has Dazzling Gleam, and you should be going for Power Gem here. Wow, well, fuck me, I guess. Can't have shit for real. Okay, Espeon is dead as shit. Wow, it's like he actually did a hell of a lot of damage. Actually, not dead as shit. What the hell? None of these Pokemon should be living like this. Okay, fucking Forest Ores. I look like a dumbass going for Protect. But I'll simply do it again. Now, is anyone by chance checking that Psychic damage? Fucking, I'll run it. We made it this far. Okay, I guess... You know what? I deserve that Spidef drop, too. Then we Protect it up. It's okay, this is not anything I can't play around. I can go PvP on the Psychic. This baits Dazzling Gleam. It should, right? Or Aura Sphere. And I think either one of those is fine for me to go to Naruto. Goes for Aura Sphere. Does quite a bit of damage, honestly. 
And flamethrower cooks, okay. We're not looking horrible right now. Metagross is muscle band naughty. Surely this Metagross does not outspeed me. My speed stat is insane. Level 75 and level 74. Yeah, this thing is... There's no shot this thing's outspeeding me. Uh, but does it get... It should get cooked by his specs. Specs flamethrower, right? Right. It does. It indeed does. It is a muscle band metagross. Yeah. Okay. I honestly didn't think Weavile was going to be the first one to die like that, but it is what it is. Um, Bronzong is also getting cooked, right? Like, there's no shot. It's not, uh, heatproof. It's levitate. Yeah. Damn, Ninetales is putting in crazy work, honestly. And last, or not last, but second to last, is Jallade. Is Jallade... I know it has, like, good spadaf. Well, 75... Specs, I have damn near 200 special attack. Once again, checking. What is that, 193? Yeah, 193. Sun boosted flamethrower with the choice specs is not one shotting. But you should never go for a leaf blade here. That just makes no sense. Uh, I don't know what exactly exactly to be going for, but it shouldn't be Leaf Blade. Second Cut does a bit of damage. Simply protect that. And then we gotta figure out what the hell to do now. Um, Glade is going for a little Leaf Blade action. It's Nine Tails. It'll do about nothing, actually. And if it's a crit, it's doing a bit more. Yeah, and it should be good to just go nine tails. How much is this doing? It's doing 57 to 67. Okay, that's that's good enough for me. And then we can uh, Moonblast. Because Moonblast should... Super kill this thing. Uh, actually, not really. It's actually, it's weaker. I guess because of stab. And because of the, uh, the sun boost. Interesting, interesting. But I don't... Oh no, it won't go for it again. Um, we can just go... I guess we go back to Hippo. Go for another Protect. Goes for Leaf Blade. This is this is what Pokemon's all about. It's about stalling. Um, how much is Jito's taken from this? Level 74. Don't know our stats. 138 defense is kind of... Kind of cheeks, honestly. Mm-hmm. And this Glade will be minus one. What if it crits? It doesn't matter. What if it doesn't crit? Okay, it's doing... It's doing some damage. And also it outspeeds us. Should outspeed us. Yeah, it definitely outspeeds us. But I don't really have another play. Okay, there's the crit. Deserved, I guess. And now, go for Night Slash. I'm just desperately trying to play around these fucking crits. Okay, he actually goes for Psycho Cut there, which is beautiful, just what I wanted to see. Uh, this should definitely be close combat here, just protect to make sure. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Now, hypothetically, an Umbreon is taken how much from a Gallade CC? Sorry for all the calking. Okay, we're taking, like, half of this. Uh, but if it crits, then it gets interesting. Uh, 
And it does have a good chance to crit because it's holding the uh, scope lens. However, I'm no pussy. Oh, it actually goes for Leaf Blade. Huh. Why the fuck would it go for Leaf Blade there? Okay, it's, apparently it's committed to going for Leaf Blade. I guess it's fishing for a crit. Hmm. I would have assumed it would go for close combat. It has it, or should have it. And last is Zamington. Uh, Zam is Life Orb, Timid, and has Aura Sphere. Alright, Umbreon, I need you to cook. I need you to live this Alakazam, 74, and when I say Timid, Timid Life Orb, which is a fucked combo, Aura Sphere. Oh, you're consuming this if I'm doing my math right, which I think I am this time. I hope I am this time. Yeah, we, this should be super easy to eat. Alright, let's see. Two, 254. Yeah, it did like 90 HP. Okay. Umbreon is truly, truly the GOAT. Okay. Still don't know what happened with that Weavile play, but it is what it is. Alright. Oh fuck, it's Cynthia time. Oh god. Oh god, oh fuck, oh shit. I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I kinda forgot about that. Let's full restore the guys. Alright, so obviously... Cynthia is a bitch. And her team is very strong, unfortunately. And because of that, um, I am scared. I am very scared. Uh, I could use a little PP on, I think, like nearly every single one of these moves, in all honesty. Yeah, I'm very worried, but honestly, we made it this far, and that's that's a huge W. I not I can't fucking click the buttons. I think I moonlighted a little bit. I hate the fucking check info tag or check tag. Oh man, I'm I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. So, her team consists of Spear Tomb, Roserade, Togekiss, Lucario, Milotic, and Garchomp, and like there's a storm of other Pokemon in there. But like everyone knows the Cynthia team. I think the weirdest choice to put on her team is Ampharos. She really does not seem like an Ampharos user. And I don't know where, uh, like Drayano or whoever else helped make uh, these teams got these, uh, these Pokemon for trainers to use that they don't normally use. But I never would have expected Cynthia to be an Ampharos enjoyer. And what was I going to use? Energy Ball? Hell no. Was it Moonblast? Hell no. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, this is it. Um, I think there's one change I want to make. And that is making... Where is it? Where is it? Actually, I guess it depends on... No, it's, it's definitely uh, lead dependent, I think. Um, that one's fine. Okay, yeah. I definitely I want to go through with this. Where the fuck are my leftovers? I think, no. I think Wise Glasses would maybe be better. Um, my plan here is to lead Naruto and start setting up. Because three of her four possible leads are very easy to set up on. So, 
Her possible leads are Spear Tomb with a Dark Pulse, Will O Wisp, Confuse Ray, and Rest. Pretty easy. Especially for a fire type to not get Will O Wisp, easy. Um, the one I'm worried about is Melodic with Scald, Ice Beam, Light Screen, and Recover. Scald obviously going to be doing some damage. Togekiss is fine with Moonblast, Light Screen, Reflect, Tailwind, and Clef with Moonblast, Soft Hold, Reflect, and Light Screen. Just set up on those. But yeah, here we are. This is this is it. Oh, honestly, making it through here with only one death that... I don't know how it fucking happened. I don't know why it didn't fucking work, but it is what it is. And honestly, Naruto putting in crazy work. Absolutely insane levels of work. <sighs> Alright. Here it is. This video's been... 50 minutes long, nearly a full hour of power. Shit, here we are. Please don't have the Milotic lead. Please don't have the Milotic lead. If you have the Milotic lead, I'm killing myself. <sighs> Champion Cynthia. Please no Milotic. Fuck, son of a bitch. Alright. Alright, honestly, with Scald being nerfed, we can maybe set up one and then energy ball. Let me look at Melodic level 77. Jesus Christ. Bold Nature. And it's going for Scald. But unfortunately, I have Nine Tails. At level 75. Uh, fuck, our... I remember the, I remember the, uh, the attack stat now. Uh, we are... Actually, that, that doesn't... Oh, it does matter, actually. I'm making that up. Uh, 193, I think. That depends on if we leveled up. 193, 205 HP. I really should have made these sets in Showdown, so that I could, uh, easily pull these up. Okay, Scald is doing so fucking much. In the sun? Okay, no, it's doing 36 in the sun. 36 to 43. But then if I'm plus 2 and going for Energy Ball, hypothetically, I'm doing a lot of damage. Alright, uh, I have I have uh, Umbreon to fall back on if shit starts getting a little interesting, but... Yeah, here, here we go. Here goes nothing. Plot up a little bit. Scald. Okay, it does just under half. Just what I wanted to see. And now, we energy ball and pray. It should never kill. Oh, but it's throwing. It's throwing. Okay, this should still kill. Yeah. Easy. Okay, what does it bring out? Um... Chomp, just immediately chomp, okay. Hasty Garchomp at level 78. Garchomp level 78, surely it doesn't outspeed me. It might outspeed me. It does not outspeed me. Let me just, let me let me make sure, let me make sure. Marie, we are 209, it is 206. By the skin of our teeth. And Moonblast is definitely not KOing, even through light screen. Or especially through light screen. Um... Where's the light screen thing at? Light screen... Yeah, we're barely doing half. But... I simply don't have another option. Um, Garchomp has... Sword Stance, so that is going to be a problem. Uh, if it decides to go for it. Actually, if it goes for it, it's good because this can maybe two-shot. Either way, we get good damage off. Okay, it does not go for it. Naruto, thank you for your service. Now, the play here she might be Garchomp Stone Edge. And hear me out. Garchomp Stone Edge against Gyarados at level 75. So you're going to be minus one, which is good because you have fucking insane attack stat.
we have not the best, not the best of uh, defense. And we have fucking okay, what is that HP stat? 285. Oh man, this is just this is Pokemon. This is Calking. This is Pokemon. Um, we should live, but we don't live a crit. There's an 85 or 87.5 percent chance to Oko if it's a crit. So there, we're 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 working with the smallest of margins here, unfortunately. Also, this thing has a negative speed stat. I'm realizing. My Gyarados is very slow. Even at plus one, it doesn't outspeed. So I, I'm i all in on this fucking uh, Ice Fang. Oh no, it has a Yachi Berry, son of a bitch. You know, Nonkov Weavile would be great here. Alright, hypothetically, Ice Fang is doing... It's still Okay, it should kill. It should kill. Okay, all we have to do is live one. Gyarados, all you have to do... Gyarados, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is live one, Stone Edge, and don't miss Ice Fang. Okay, we just live, just live, please. <sighs> please just live. Okay, thank god. And just hit, hit, hit. Thank you. Thank you. My precious, precious boy. It lived. It lived. How did it live? Okay. Okay, she full restores here. She full restores, and we just ice swing again. Actually... Yeah, we ice wing again because uh, even at plus one we don't outspeed. Uh, this still doesn't kill. But keep that in mind. It doesn't kill. Yeah. Uh, please go for something stupid. Please don't go for Stone Edge. Please miss Stone Edge. That's the best case scenario here is you miss Stone Edge. Um, actually... Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. <sighs> Hippo. Why is there no fucking... All right, and we have a uh, whatever nature, and we're level seventy-four. All right, I think we're safe to switch in Hippo on Stone Edge, because I would like to keep Gyarados. I'd like to keep all my Mons alive if possible. We simply go into into over here. Outrage, outrage. Okay, thankfully it still is fucking nothing because Hippo's the goat. Oh my god. Why would it go for fucking Outrage there? I guess it saw a kill with anything. Alright, whatever. I'm, I'm not complaining. I got to keep my Gyarados and Hippo's only at half health. Ampharos. Okay, Ampharos, what are you going for? Why are you out here? Genuinely, why are you out here? Thunderbolt, Dragon Pulse, Focus Blast, Cannon. Flash Cannon. I know we don't have the greatest of special defense. However, Ampharos isn't like the, like the hardest hitter. Shookaberry, ah, oh, it's Shookaberry, that's unfortunate. Quiet Nature with Dragon Pulse. Also, this is Stab because it's Dragon type in this ROM hack, which is pretty cool. Deserved, honestly. Focus Blast and Flash Cannon. And you do get Dragon Stab. Um, yeah, Dragon Pulse is doing good damage, and you're holding a uh, item as a Shookaberry, which actually do know for a fact is the ground berry. So that means Earthquake going to be a two-shot. So I'm going to protect once. <sighs> I'm going to slack off. Okay, thank god he misses. Focus missed. The goat. <laughs> Best move ever made. I'm going to protect because fuck you. And it's three focus blast down. Blast again. And honestly, according to these calcs, flash, or, uh, focus blast shouldn't be his best move here, but I guess my special defense isn't uh, perfect, and maybe that has something to do with it. Flash cannon. Crit, okay. Thankfully, Hippo just has enough HP to work around crits. God, this Pokemon's so good. Four star, son of a bitch. Um, that's, it's fine-ish. Just don't get another crit. Okay. Oh, you're going to be dead to uh, to Chip. Um, I'm going to protect here. Yeah. Okay, this is looking good so far. 
Spear Tomb. Okay, this Spear Tomb set is Dark Pulse, Shadow Ball, Psychic Hypnosis. Um, okay, okay. One mon at a time, one mon at a time. Spear Tomb. Level 77. Relax Nature, unfortunately. Dark Pulse, Shadow Ball. Psychic and Hypnosis. Okay, these are all doing like a quarter to like a third of my HP, and Earthquake is doing. Alright, Earthquake's a two shot, three shot. I'm gonna slack off once, get back to full, see, see what the damage is looking like. Okay, actually. Oh, wait, I can just fucking. I can just go. <laughs> I'll bring on and sit on this thing. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, does. Oh, Synchronize doesn't work if I'm asleep? That's so fucked. But yeah, you can only go for Dark Pulse, which is doing nothing. Negative damage. Okay. I didn't have to keep Hippo in there. Okay. We are we know what we're doing now. We know what we're doing. Okay, immediate spit up drop is fucked. Okay, Moonlight is unfortunately not going to heal us for much, just because of the uh, the Sandstorm and its weather dependency, but it is alright, it's alright. Um, I can do a little bit of pivoting to, to Rotom just to get rid of those Spidef drops. Oh, okay, this is Fizdef Rotom, I forgot. Should be fine though, um, she only has... She has two Pokemon left, right? Yeah, two Pokemon left, and it's Star Raptor and Lucario. And this should bring in Lucario, if I had to guess. If I kill it with a uh, with Motor here, um, that did what? 60, 70? Yeah, that's too much. Um, oh, four story, bitch. I'm still just gonna Thunderbolt. Cause I think, I think we're okay. I think it's it's still very early, but I think we're okay. So yeah, this does bring out Lucario. It is Life Orb Lucario. And yeah, no, it's just uh, it's fucked. It's a fucked Pokemon. On the off chance you miss your move or whatever, no, Orsfrey can't miss. Okay, that's Rotom down. Uh, Hippo should just be the answer. Protect once for stall, for stalling purposes. I didn't mean to slack off. Uh, it doesn't super matter, because that actually, <laughs> actually did some damage there, but I meant to just Earthquake. Or Sphere. How much is Orsphere doing? 300? Okay, doing quite a bit of damage, but luckily you're dead. And she's down to just Star Raptor. And this Scarf Star Raptor, so it'll be locked into whatever move. It's going for double edge. I'll be honest. Gyarados, get out there. Gyarados, thank you for your service. I'm gonna end it in style. And by style, I mean protect stalling. Just a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit of trolling. Okay, yeah, we fucking eat that. And it ended as we all thought it would. Well, kind of. Uh, weather, <laughs> Sandstorm, Chip, and Hippo. And that's it, that's the Elite Four fucking done. Oh my god. We had to sack some guys to get there. And to be fair, I didn't need to sack Gyarados at all, but... It, uh, it mattered in my heart. And that's it, I fucking did it. Oh my god. Two attempts. Two attempts and I fucking did it. Two attempts, an hour and five minutes of footage. Two attempts. Uh, however many deaths are on screen at the moment, I don't know. Genuinely don't remember. But that's it, that is Ringate Platinum beaten. My god. Truly, 
I'll be honest, I didn't think I would, I was, it was going to happen. But going into this, I did not expect that shit to work. Uh, shout out Weavile for, like, doing nothing. Shout out Naruto. Shout out Ninetales for doing so fucking much. Naruto put in crazy work. Uh, beating the entirety of Eren's team, plus um, beating the Milotic and shit, and doing the damage necessary for Garchomp. Honestly, that's my GOAT. Uh, obviously, Hippo and Umbreon carried, for obvious reasons. I mean, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for those two. And then Rotom didn't really do anything, but he was very integral for this entire thing. Gyarados has been with us since the very beginning. I think it was one of my first encounters. And that's it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. I'll be honest. I didn't think we'd make it. I didn't think we'd make it. I definitely thought we'd lose to uh, to Cynthia, if not earlier. Man. Also, shout out Gerdes for like soloing uh, Flint after I realized that his uh, Houndoom was locked into Fire Blast. That was awesome. But yeah, that's it. That is it. <sighs> wow, this series was really fun, but also really challenging obviously uh it was it was something i i had a lot of fun doing this though like even though each episode takes so much longer just because of like the planning that goes into the gym fights and the rival fights it was so much fun being able to like make it and seeing like uh my strategies work i still don't know why that fucking weavile knockoff only did like 75 percent i don't know why but that's that's something for a different day. But yeah, here we are. Son of a bitch. After losing to the first gym to winning against the champion. Wow. Well, I think I'm going to take uh, a week off from uploading uh, a solo series. Obviously, the... Uh, Sun and Moon, or Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Soul Link with JP will still be going up, but I'm going to take a break from doing uh, anything solo for about a week or so, maybe. Also, it gives me time to work on uh, the new series, because it's not Pokemon. Shocker. Uh, I'm finally getting around to that series, and also expect more Showdown. I might I might drop a little Showdown video at some point, because I've been meaning to do it, but Renegade Fundam has been eating up my time. Uh, so... Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this whole hour-long thing. This feature feature film length. Just about. Uh, and most of that was just me calking and trying to get things right. I can't believe we got the fucking worst lead luck on Cynthia. But it, it worked out. It worked out. Honestly, besides that guard chomp, her team wasn't too bad. Oh my god. All right, well, thank you guys. Thank you for everyone who has watched the series and done, you know, anything anything for the series. You know, commented, liked, subscribed because of the series. You know, everything. I, I truly appreciate it. And I, I do plan on doing another Hardcore Nuzlocke, hopefully of another Drayano ROM hack, because these are really good. Uh, it's probably going to be Blaze Black or Volt White, or uh, like one or two. And I think he's working on a sequel to the Hard Gold and Soul, Soul Silver ROM hacks he made. I could be making that up, but I think I saw a tweet from him saying something about that. So that might be something to do. Uh, but yeah, also a week from now, I figure if you're still here, hour and 10 minutes in, I'll be leaking what game I'm going to be playing. I'm going to be 100 and I think 12 percenting. I think that's uh, how much content there is in the game. Hollow Knight. I have I played the game before, but I don't know where everything is. I think I completed it with like 60% done, so that's nearly only half the game played. So that'll be the next series. Uh, it's going to be a total departure from obviously Pokemon and these really long form videos because I do plan on cutting it down. So yeah, that'll be out uh, about a week from now. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I'll see you in Hollow Nest. Peace.